Now, of course, people ask me all the time. They say to me, what is the secret to success? The first rule is trust yourself. And what I mean by that is, is so many young people are getting so much advice from their parents and from the teachers and from everyone. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. I didn't have all the, the destructions and all this. I spent a lot of time by myself so I could figure out and listen to what is inside my heart and inside my head. And I recognized very quickly that inside my head and heart were a burning desire to leave my small village in Austria. Not that there was something wrong with us, Austria. It's a beautiful country. But I wanted to leave that little place and I wanted to be part of something big. The United States of America, a, a powerful nation, the place where dreams can come true. I knew when I come over here, I can realize my dreams. And I decided that the best way for me to come to America was to become a bodybuilding champion because I knew that was my ticket. But something else burned inside me. Something burned inside me. I wanted to be different. I was determined to be unique. I was driven to think big and to dream big. Everyone else thought that I was crazy. My friend said, if you want to be a champion in a sport, why don't you go and become a bicycle champion or a skiing champion or a soccer champion? Those are the Austrian sports. But I didn't care. I wanted to be a bodybuilding champion and use that to come to America and use that to go into the movies and make millions of dollars. I wanted to become a champion. I, wanted to, I was on a mission. So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how and what anyone else thinks. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well behaved and not want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe. After all, what is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? The only way that I ever got any place was the breaking some of the rules. I didn't pay attention to the rules and uh, I made it and the rest is history. Which of course brings me to rule number three. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. Which brings me to rule number four, which is don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this and you can't do that and it has never been done before? Just imagine if Bill Gates had quit when people said it can't be done. I hear this all the time. As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says, that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. No, so I never listen that you can't. I always listen to myself and said, yes, you can. And that brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of, world, of all. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I never wanted to lose a competition or lose an election because I didn't work hard enough. I always believed leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. So many of those lessons that I apply in life, I have learned from sports, let me tell you, and especially that one. And let me tell you, it is important to have fun in life, of course, but when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. If you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. And none of my rules, by the way, of success will work unless you do. I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day, you sleep six hours, and I have 18 hours left. 
Now I know there's some of you out there now and says, well, wait a minute, I sleep eight hours or nine hours. Well, then just sleep faster, I would recommend. And that takes me to rule number six, which is a very important rule. It's about giving back. Whatever path that you take in your lives, you must always find time to give something back. Something back to your community, give something back to your state or to your country. Let me tell you something, reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done. Remember those six rules. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail, ignore the naysayers, work like hell, and give something back.